Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you how to make a shadow box frame deeper uh, so you can create miniatures in it or place whatever you want in it. So first of all, I took the box frame apart um, and it's not a very deep one, this one. It's just a cheap one I got for four quid from the works, I think it was, something like that or maybe the range, that sort of place. So what I'm doing first of all is I'm taking some stiff card and I'm cutting the card to the depth that I want the shadow box to be, which is approximately, let me see on my ruler, seven centimeters deep. So, and then the width is um, whatever will fit inside the frame. And you need to make four of these to fit round each side. I was able to make four the same size because the box, the frame is a square. But obviously, if you've got a slightly rectangular box, you might have to make some alterations and make two slightly longer sides. And then I stick these into place with some hot glue at the back and at the bottom, like so. And can you, so you can see that creates like a box within the frame. And you need to make four of those and glue them firmly into position. And for this, I'm using hot glue. Um, you could use super glue or any strong adhesive. Um, I like to use hot glue on a lot of my miniatures and stuff because then if I want to take stuff apart and reuse things, I can. Um, if you want it to be super strong, um, make sure that you use a, a good glue. Um, also, with the frame, it's worth um, sanding inside the frame a little bit to get rid of the uh, shiny coating off the outside, like the laminate, um, just to make sure the glue sticks very well. I found my hot glue stuck fairly well, so I didn't worry about that, but depending on what glue you're using, you might have to sand the frame first. And obviously, if you're repainting the frame to a different colour, then yeah, you're gonna to need to sand it as well. So as you can see, it's already a lot deeper. And then what I'm doing is I'm gluing the corners to make sure that they're stuck together. Um, I'll reinforce these in a little bit as well. And I'm starting off with gluing around the outside and then I'll put glue on the inside later on. Um, depending on whether you're gonna cover these or not, depends on how much glue you want on the inside of it obviously if you're not particularly going to cover this you might just spray paint it then maybe not too much glue on the inside um, for me I'm going to be putting a layer inside that's got the textures on and things for the miniature I want to make inside it so it doesn't matter if I get get plenty of glue on the inside as well um, but yeah if you're going to just have this as like a plain box to put some things in on the wall then you're probably going to want to um, minimize the amount of glue on the inside so reinforce and glue as much as you can on the outside where it's not going to be seen now obviously this is like the inner part of the box frame later on i will cover the this um like with a slightly larger box on the outside to cover all the mess up and so i can paint it black and it will look like the rest of the frame um but i haven't done that yet i'm just showing how you could just do it really simply um, and then when I use this for a miniature I'll show you how to finish off the box properly to make it look even better so I'm running glue all around the outside to make sure this is well secured and glued to the frame I don't want any movement I don't want it to come off um, because obviously eventually it's going to be hung up by um, and the weight of it's going to hang on the cardboard so I want to make sure it's nice and secure So as you can see, that makes the frame a lot deeper. So you've got a lot more space. And you can make this as deep as you want. Um, Weight-wise, you don't want to put anything too heavy in this. Um, you know, this wouldn't hold like heavy ornaments or anything like that, but little things and crystals and um, miniatures and models and things, it'll hold it fine. Um, just make sure it's well glued together. Then what I'm doing is I'm reinforcing the corners. So I've cut out some little st strips of glue, which are about five centimeters by six or so or eight. 
um, folding those in half and then sticking those over the corners and this is using the same really strong cardboard um, so it's to reinforce those corners and make sure it stays stuck together the more layers you can have obviously the stronger it's going to get and this does just reinforce those corners and stop them breaking apart and just make sure that you know there's minimal gaps and obviously it's as solid as it possibly can be it does feel fairly sturdy now i've put those corner pieces on make sure when you do this you use fairly thick um stiff cardboard this is some corrugated card i had from a little model kit that was delivered and it's quite thick cardboard and it's got like a sort of laminated side to it so it adds a bit more rigidity to it so it seems quite solid and then i've got the original back from the frame which obviously fits inside the frame and once i have trimmed off the edges just to make sure these edges are all the same length then i can stick this on the back and the original frame obviously had the hanging um, accessory on the back so I can hang this up on the wall which is why I wanted to reuse this and also because it's a piece of um, it's like th very thin MDF type material um, or hardboard it's going to be nice and strong for hanging the frame from without the glass in it this frame is a lot lighter with the glass in it's quite heavy so I've took the glass out um, you could put the glass in, I suppose, but I, I can't guarantee that it would stay on the wall if you did. It depend. You could always replace it with some um, perspex instead, so that you can have the sort of glass in, but without the weight, like a plexiglass sort of thing you could use. I was just looking to see whether this little inner frame would fit around the back of the box just to reinforce it, but it didn't. It's too small so i just stuck the back on as is and to stick this on i just use plenty of hot glue um and what you want to do is line it up as best as you can um my cardboard's not perfect there are a couple of gaps but i can fill that with hot glue and stuff later and like i said this the outer side with the cardboard showing that's going to get covered with another layer afterwards anyway just to make it look neater um, so I can cover up any little gaps and things later on. So I'm running a line of hot glue around the straightest edge that I have and I'm going to stick the back in place using that. And that will just hold the back into position where I want it until I've glued the other edges down. And then I'm going to glue down the other three edges, making sure I put plenty of glue on and then making sure I get the cardboard to line up with the edge of the back piece. You will have a little bit sticking out because obviously we've reinforced the corners so a bit of the cardboard is going to stick out past the backing. Um, and I did find it sat slightly off um, at the bottom but it'll be fine. Just plenty of glue is all you need. So then I've glued around all the edges outside, made sure I've filled in any gaps and then just give that a few seconds to start cooling down. You can press onto the back just to make sure you hold it in place in case it, it tries to move or anything. And then just fill in any little gaps as you go. And I'm just holding it in position while I wait for the glue to cool down a little bit and you can blow on the uh, glue to cool it down faster. So as you can see, it's made this box frame a lot deeper. You will see a little bit, a couple of gaps where the uh, light's getting through. Um, but when I put the outer layer onto the back of the frame, you won't see that anymore. Um, but I'm leaving the inner layer exposed at the moment because I might want to wire this up for lighting. Um, so it's easier if I can get to this inner, inner place, um, inner cardboard layer. And then what I will do um, later on is I will cover the exposed cardboard in another layer of card and paint it black and make it match in with the rest of the frame. 
But as I said, I want to be able to add wiring and things. So I'm just leaving it as the bare bones at the moment. So I'm just making sure that that's nice and secure and dry. And then what I'm going to do is take some more hot glue and then just run it around all the seams on the inside. I wouldn't necessarily do this if you are just going to paint it um, unless you can very, very neatly glue all the seams. You might want to just take your time and make it really neat before you paint it, otherwise it'll show up. Um, so what I'm doing here is just using a thin strip of glue, going all around the seams, making sure it's all nice and sealed in and well glued together. This will just reinforce all those edges and corners. If you could get a box that's the right size to do this, you could just stick a box on the back and you haven't got to worry about reinforcing all these edges. Um, but the box I had didn't fit the frame exactly, so I did have to cut it down, unfortunately. Um, so what I'm doing now is just waiting for the glue to set. And as you can see, I've got a lot more space in this shadow box now to put lots of different objects. Um, like I said, I'm making a miniature in this. Uh, it's going to have like a miniature scene in it. Um, and I'll add more textures and other items in there. And obviously paint this all black on the inside before I do that. So if I show you my little Ned statue, see he fits in nice, nice and deeply, like he's quite far back. Just to give you an idea of depth, here's my pencil sharpener in there. So it just means you can put a lot more in there and I can do a lot more layers for the miniature I want to put in there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.